In this lesson, we'll show you a very quick uh, tip on saving your selection sets. I am in a uh, floor plan. In fact, I'm in a site plan. And in this site plan, I've got a whole mix of stuff. I've got some detail lines. I've got some text. I've got dimensions. I've got reference planes. I've got groups. I've got some 3D stuff, some of which is turned on and off, and just a whole bunch of mishmash of elements in here. What happens is, in this particular case, is this is the kind of the new addition that we're talking about in this site plan, and the rest of the stuff is more or less static. So what I've done is I've created a selection set. I've taken the time to crawl around and pick everything and use my filter and everything, and I have everything selected other than this building over here, okay, this footprint. So the idea here is that rather than move the building, I move everything except the building. So I do kind of a counter move in this particular case. And, um, and I've had to do it a couple of times. And every time you go through and you have to select all these splines and text and, you know, to move it, you know, four inches in one direction is a major pain. So what I've done is I've used the save and load selection set option to save all that stuff. So once again, you can click on here and use your control button and you can hand pick, you know, all the different elements that you want. OK, and you can use a crossing box and a window or whatever you want to select it. Once it's all selected on the manage tab, there's a there's a panel called selection. You can save, load and edit that selection. And that is saved for the next time you come back and open up the project. So it's really a permanent um, selection set, which is almost like a group in the sense, but it's not a group. It's just a selection set. So just to demonstrate, I've taken, you know, a couple minutes and selected all that stuff that I wanted. Now, anytime I want, I can go back to my project, go into any view and say load, and then I can say site stuff. I saved that. That's what I did when I did my save before. I hit OK and look what it does. It selects all that stuff, everything except the stuff that I don't want. Now that I have it all selected, I can rotate or copy or move in this case um, or turn on or off or do whatever I want with it. But the key is everything is in that selection set. Look, I even noticed there's a missing line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say edit and I'm going to pick um, selection set site stuff. OK, and hit OK. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my control button to select extra elements. Now, in order to edit the selection set, it depends on what's inside the selection set and how you got to it. You'll notice that if I say load and say grab my site stuff and hit OK. OK, everything's there. And I just happen to notice on the fly that I'm missing one of these spline lines. If I hit edit on here, you'll notice that if I click on here, the edit button. That's not my selection set. I want this one, site stuff. And you'll notice the edit disappears. Okay. And that's because there's, um, it was a bit too complex on how I selected all those items originally. However, what I can do is simply add what I want and resave it and overwrite it. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'll click out and start again. I'll say load. I'll grab my site stuff and hit OK. And we'll notice OK. You know, it's grabbed all this stuff. Thank you very much. And now I'm like, oh, you know what? I forgot this guy over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my control button and pick this. So it's now selected with my selection set. So I used my selection set, used an extra control click to grab that. And now I'm going to say save instead of edit. And I'm going to call it site stuff and hit OK. And it's going to say you already have a name with that. Do you want to replace it? And they say yes. And now it's going to save that. Okay. So the next time I can close this guy off, save the project, you know, go to a different view. Doesn't matter. Come back here another day and say, oh, I need to move all that site stuff again. Click load, grab my site stuff, hit OK. It's going to grab everything, including that new line. And now once again, I can go back and say move, copy, rotate, you know, turn it on, turn it off, delete it, whatever I want. So a nice little tip on saving and 
you can also edit and if, if you can edit it'll say add and remove you've seen that dialog box before just like when we do groups and stuff so save load and edit selection sets comes in very handy especially when you have a big mixed bag of elements that you want to be able to select very quickly and remember uh, that for the next time you want to select those same objects